Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, July 25th, 2012 with your gold, silver, and stock forecast. This is the GLD, the gold ETF, up about 1.3% uh, uh, today, coming back up into this area that's given us trouble since March. This is an overhead trend line here, which has been a point of resistance here over and over again. So we're back up here challenging it uh, here at about the 155 level. Now, um, we did have a nice gap up this morning, got us above this blue line here, which is the key 50 day moving average. And uh, we have a few positive signs starting to happen here. You do see the 50 day moving average starting to turn up uh, uh, for the first time in quite a long time. So this is, this is a great sign here. Um, it's a sign the momentum may be shifting here. Um, uh, it has gotten above this red line here too, which is the 21 day moving average, another positive sign. And you can see this gray line here squiggling here. Uh, this is the 10 day moving average and it's above that as well. So we are coming up into this key overhead resistance point. If we can get two days worth of closes above this line, I'm gonna get a lot more bullish on gold. Uh, right now we are still stuck in a downtrend technically, and uh, but you will see that the, the lows here uh, that it's made uh, the last several weeks uh, are starting to slope up here. So we've got this trend line here starting to um, uh, tighten up and form a wedge here. Now, uh, the next uh, few days, of course, uh, for gold will be critical here. Uh, maybe we can get something going here to the upside, but for now, still stuck in a downtrend. And moving on to silver now, this is the SLV, the silver ETF. Uh, and uh, we're up about 1.14% uh, uh, right now. Coming up against uh, this overhead trend line on the silver as well. So very similar uh, uh, chart action uh, for the gold and silver. Uh, and we are getting this, this uh, uh, lower, uh, uh, the higher lows uh, coming here. We have lower highs and higher lows. So uh, we're forming this wedging action here. Uh, silver still stuck in a downtrend technically, but uh, momentum may be shifting. We are still under the 50 day moving average on silver, unlike the gold. Uh, and uh, we are fighting a battle now here at the 21 day moving average, this red line here. So silver looking a bit weaker than the gold, uh, but still uh, chart wise uh, coming up against this key overhead resistance area, which it's tapped many times uh, since uh, March. Um, uh, same downtrend that silver has been in for months and months here. So uh, uh, next few days, very critical on the silver. Will we punch out above this, get two days of closes above this trend line to negate this trend line? Or will we come back down and possibly test this lower trend line forming here or go back down here and tap this one retesting the $25 mark on the SLV? Not a lot of volume happening, uh, light volume as we drift sideways here. Uh, not much momentum in the silver, but uh, technically to the downside for both gold and silver. And moving on to stocks now, this is the NASDAQ composite down about a third of a percent right now. And um, we have some key weakness in the NASDAQ. And uh, we had this upper trend, uh, <clears throat> this trend moving higher here uh, for uh, since June. And uh, that has now been uh, broken. If we close below this lower trend line today, this will technically have been broken in my view. And uh, the NASDAQ uh, is probably coming down here to test this 200 day moving average at about 2830. Um, uh, I would say that uh, um, uh, we, uh, you know, are fighting a battle down here to preserve this uh, uh, upward moving trend. You can see this blue line here. This is the 50 day moving average. We are now under it. Two days of close under that will uh, will uh, put me uh, negative on on the uh, Nasdaq here. Now I want to note that IBD has called uh, the markets back in a. Um, uh, uptrend under pressure, not a, um, a, a downtrend yet or a, um, you know, correction, but uh, uh, the uptrend under pressure. Uh, certainly the uh, uh, Apple uh, miss on the earnings and, uh, and forecast was not great for uh, the NASDAQ composite or the stock market in general. Moving on now to the big cap stocks, this is the S&P 500, down about uh, two tenths of a percent right now. Same story, broke this uh, uh, upward trend here and uh, certainly a close uh, below this trend line will uh, put a damper on this uptrend. And uh, we are now fighting a battle here at the blue line, the 15 moving average. We are still above it though, uh, but it looks like uh, today is going to be another day of, uh, of selling uh, on the S&P 500. Uh, possibly with some distribution, which means a, a higher volume than the previous day on the sell-off. So uh, gold and silver uh, in downtrends, but looking stronger 
uh, uh, stocks uh, trying to hold on to the, a bit of an uptrend here, um, but uh, looking weaker, looking like they're going to break that. Uh, the market rally is under pressure. Uh, not a time that I like uh, uh, buying stocks since the majority of stocks do follow the general market. So that's it. Good luck trading, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time.